Well, this is really a very, very sensitive one. There's a uh, text message to his father in which he says the following. My name is Lucius Cole, and what I'm about to show you is an interview with Rudy Giuliani on Newsmax showing you exactly what was on Hunter Biden's laptop. This type of information is not going to be on any of the major internet platforms. It's not going to be seen in the mainstream media. It is going to be censored. It is going to have a massive disinformation campaign behind it. And what you are about to see is going to not only shock you, but shock the world. He's discussing his uh, sister-in-law, who for quite some time was his lover. And he says, uh, she, she told my therapist that I was sexually inappropriate. This would be with a unnamed 14-year-old girl. When she says that I FaceTime naked with the unnamed 14-year-old girl, and the reason I can't have her out to see me is because I walk around naked smoking crack, talking Tom girls on FaceTime. When she was pressed, she said that the unnamed 14-year-old girl Never said anything like that, but the bottom line is that I created and caused a very unsafe environment for the kids. This is supported by numerous pictures of underage uh, girls. So, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, I, uh, that is, look, that's dynamite stuff. I don't know who this guy is that's interviewing him, but shut up. Shut up. This is the biggest scandal in probably the last 100 years in the United States. And this guy's just blowing it off. We're talking about underage girls being sexually abused. But I guess it's just not a big deal. And this is probably why big tech, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of them all went out there and banned groups such as Q. And now here we are in the midst of a presidential election. And we have a conversation between a possible future president of the United States and his son. And him knowing that his crackhead son was FaceTiming little underage girls naked it gets worse take a look i'm more concerned about the vice president because he's the one who's running right i see that but you know what i don't see mr this was sent to the vice president here's the deal and look i want to be clear that here sounds I'm like a... him. yeah but you know what is not there sent to him what did, what, what did he do about it exactly what did he do about it well For three years <laughs> Wow, uh, today really is a black pill day. Is there anyone, is there any media, is there anyone who's willing to do what's right? This political hack, Rudy Giuliani, has to go on a third tier news network like Newsmax in order to get the word out because these major media conglomerates refuse to have him on. We are talking about pedophiles. We're talking about monsters, and these people do nothing. This is disgusting. I, I just, I cannot believe that they are willing to overlook pedophilia. They downplay everything, everything. Every single piece of information, if it's not Russian propaganda, once they have to acknowledge the existence that it's an actual real document or a real video or a real photo, what do they do? They downplay it. They try to set the narrative like it's no big deal. What is going on? This is disgusting. I'm sick of this. I, I just, I don't get it. And, and it just keeps going. Let's continue. All I can tell you is, if you were to look at the photographs on this hard drive, and you didn't report it to the police, uh, well, if you were a law enforcement officer, you'd be guilty of a felony. And if you're just a normal citizen, you'd be a horrible human being. 
There are numerous pictures here of uh, girls that are being, uh, I mean, they shouldn't be there. That's all I can tell you. I understand. And if the Delaware, if the Delaware State Police don't do anything about this, it would be really a tragic thing. I got a question for you. Do you really think the Delaware State Police is going to do anything about this? No, they're going to send this information to the FBI, that same FBI that has been sitting on this hard drive for over a year. There is zero trust in our government institutions. None. Zero. Nada. And then you have the corporate media news machine pushing out a disinformation campaign. When the social media companies are actively censoring us and throttling the truth, you have the mainstream media saying that everything's Russian propaganda. Yay! Welcome to America, guys. 1984. Or was it 1776? Ah, same thing, right? And for those of you who haven't seen, you can check it out. I'll link it up in the corner right here. A Chinese whistleblower actually laid out the details of what is in this hard drive over three weeks ago. Three weeks before it ever hit the airwaves here in the United States. So congratulations. Not only do the United States have this information, but China does as well. And also Russia. And you still want to vote for Joe Biden even after being compromised because russia guys russia who cares about fighting pedophiles let's ban q let's punch right wingers and let's just ban anyone who doesn't agree with us welcome to america guys welcome to freedom let's keep going into the madness this is a uh, uh, probably the worst scandal i've ever seen and there's a depravity to it that's ho horrendous which is why I reported it to the Delaware police. And I hope they're independent enough to um, investigate it properly. But there are images on here where if you don't realize how damaging this is to young people, there's something wrong with you. And so Joe Biden knows that. Plus, Joe Biden is the one who used his son to be a bag man for 20 years when he knew his son was a drug addict. This is not about Hunter Biden. It's about Joe Biden. It's about what a crook he is and what a horrible father he is. So allegedly, you have a crackhead pedo son who's a bagman for foreign governments taking in money to line your own pockets. You know what, guys? I think I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to vote for Joe Biden. What is going on? What is going on? And of course, we all know the corporate media news machine as well as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the entire big tech oligarchy. They'll play cover up. Let's keep going. The iron curtain that I have of Twitter, not being willing to put out the New York Post story, Facebook, New, uh, New York Times, the Washington Post, NBC, ABC, CBS. There's an iron curtain of censorship over this. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because this is fatal to Joe Biden as a candidate it should be fatal to him as a human being because I don't mean fatal, but I mean it should be. He should be prosecuted for this. These are major yeah. bribes in which he sold out the United States to China, and there's a sexual depravity to this that is uh, disgusting. Uh, I, I don't mean to be blackpilled, guys, but this is my third video in a row in what can only be described as the polar opposite of justice. We have people going to free speech rallies fighting against censorship of big tech and getting their teeth knocked out, a woman going to the Women's March and being assaulted, and both of them having their accounts on social media banned. You then have John Roberts of the Supreme Court siding with the left, stating that Pennsylvania can count votes three days after Election Day and not not even being able to use the stamp as an indicator about when the ballot was sent. And now we have this, and we all know that the big media and social media is going to throttle this story. And if they can't ignore it, they're going to say it's Russian propaganda. Like I said, I mean, I, I don't mean to be blackpilled, guys, but what can we do? What can we do? We are playing the game handcuffed. 
our free speech is under attack and the left is cheering it on they have every major media corporation on their side every major major media news outlet every major media social media and they're cheering it on yippee 1984 let's go Like I said, guys, I'm sorry for the black pills, but share this video, like this video, comment on this video, and of course, subscribe. I, obviously, I don't think this channel is going to last. Check me out on Odyssey. Check me out on BitChute. I don't know anymore, guys. Our, our republic is under attack. Freedom is under attack. Buy your fishing poles. Buy your baits. You know what I'm talking about. I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. Coltrane.